वेलकम बैक गाइस टू आर एंड्रॉइड प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन एंड्रॉइड मटेरियल डिजाइनिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट इंक्लूडिंग द पॉप अप मेन्यू एंड वेरियस मेन्यू आइकन्स इन आवर टूल बार बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग द टूल बार एज अ स्टैंड अलोन टूल बार वी जस्ट नीड टू इन्फ्लेट द मेन्यू आइटम्स इन टू आवर टूल बार बट बिफोर दैट लेट एस क्रिएट अ न्यू मेन्यू डॉट एक्सएमएल फाइल एंड इंक्लूड द वेरियस आइकन्स एंड ऑप्शन टू बी यूज in the toolbar as the icon and in the overflow menu let us create a new resource folder and name it as menu in the menu folder i have created a menu main dot xml file in this xml file i have defined certain icons that will appear as the menu icon in our toolbar and few options for the overflow menu Let us discuss about it one by one. The first icon I have defined here is the save icon. For this item, I have given the ID as save, and the icon I have defined in the drawable folder. Its title is save, and show as action is always. That is, the save icon will appear on the toolbar always as the icon. Next is the setting icon. The setting icon has the title of setting. and it will always appear in the toolbar we can see here this is the setting icon next is the mail option it has the title as email and show action as never that is it will not appear in our toolbar but it will be present in the pop up menu show action as never implies that the icon doesn't appear in the toolbar but appears as the option in our overflow menu the overflow menu is also known as the pop up menu Next is the camera. It has the ID as camera, the title as camera, and show as action never. Same way like the email, this also will not appear in the toolbar, but in the overflow menu. The third option for the overflow menu is the web search, and the fourth one is the help. So we conclude that when the show as action is never, it appears in the overflow menu. and when show as action is defined as always the icon appears in the toolbar now let's move to stand alone dot java file and inflate our menu items in our toolbar because we are using the toolbar as the stand alone toolbar we just need to inflate the menu items into the toolbar using m toolbar dot inflate menu the menu resource id is r dot menu dot menu main that is the menu main xml file will be inflated the next thing we need to do is to set the on item click listener and initiate the on menu item click listener again as the toolbar is used as the stand alone toolbar it can be defined as m toolbar dot the set on menu item click listener and inside it we define on menu item click listener After setting this we write the return statement as true Now this is the basic setup for set on menu item click listener Now inside this we need to write the code for the actions to be taken when the menu item is clicked Now guys in our menu main dot xml we have title for each icon in our menu item that is the save icon has the title as save the setting icon has the title as setting the email has the title of email camera for camera and the web icon has the title of web search whereas the help have the title of help now we will extract this title in our stand alone toolbar dot java to display the toast message when the menu item is clicked in the toolbar so let's define a string variable and set it as item dot get title this item is the menu item which we click and get title function gets the title from the menu main dot xml and stores it in the title variable now let us define the toast message so that it shows the item that is being clicked toast dot make text stand alone toolbar dot this that is the context of the toast is stand alone toolbar the item to be displayed is title that is this title 
which has the title of the item being clicked. Selected is the string which we have given toes dot length short dot show. Now guys, this is the functionality I have added with the click event for the menu icon. We can write the switch case statement and perform the respective functions as required. I have written the switch case statement so that you can perform an individual menu action as per the requirement. It will become easier to you when you download it and use it in your application. You can also write the cases for other menu items as well. I have written just for the save and mail. Now let's run our application and see whether it is running or not. So guys, here is our application up and running. On clicking the standalone toolbar button, we see we have got our toolbar title. This is the save icon, the setting icon and this is the overflow menu. On clicking the overflow menu, we can see there is the email, camera, web search and help option which we had defined as show as action never. We can see this four options appear in the overflow menu whereas the save and the setting icon which has been defined as always as show as action appears on the toolbar. Now guys the color of this icons are the color of the icons that have been defined in the drawable folder. We can customize the text in the toolbar that is the title and the subtitle and the overflow menu as well. On clicking this items we can see we have got the toast message. Save selected. Save is the title that we had given to our save icon and selected is the string that we had defined in our toast. We can see setting selected, save selected. In the overflow menu items we can see the email selected, camera selected, the web search selected and the help selected. Here for the click event I have made use of the toast message. You can define your own action for each of the menu icons as per your wish. Use the switch statement where the switch will fetch the ID of the item that is being clicked. This item ID will be provided from the menu main.xml. We have provided the ID to each of our icons. So this ID will be fetched by the switch statement and accordingly the actions will be performed. And one more property of the on clicking event. When we long click this icon, the title of the icon is shown. That is the save for the save icon. When the long press is done, the title is displayed. The settings is the title for the settings icon. This way guys, you can customize the actions that are being performed on clicking the menu items. So in this video, we learned how to include the menu items and the overflow menu into our Android toolbar. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will be learning about customizing the toolbar and the overflow menu of our application. That is all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do share and leave your comment below the video. Subscribe to our channel and help us grow. I also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description. You can go there and refer to it. For further videos, stay tuned, keep smiling and have a good day.